Welcome, folks, to another Game Hoda Let's Play production. We'll be playing Resonance. Quite a few of you have uh, asked me to do this game. So here it is. Unconfirmed reports now coming in from Zurich, bringing the total number of countries experiencing attacks over the last hour up to 12. And we are still waiting for word from our Washington Bureau since losing contact with them approximately 20 minutes ago. Explosions or some type of attacks have occurred in cities around the globe. The attacks are accompanied by power surges, large-scale blackouts. At this time, we do not know the exact nature of these attacks, but they do not appear to be conventional explosives. Some have pointed out, and this is still just speculation, these attacks appear to resemble the incident that took place at the Juno Particle Accelerator in Aventine City on Sunday morning, though authorities have been calling that an accident. What connection the incident in Aventine City could have had uh, to these worldwide attacks is, at this point, unknown. Uh, being told now, we've established... 60 hours earlier. Oh, that sound. Make it stop. Where is that noise coming from? Now, some of the voice in this game is pre-recorded, not by me. Um, I'm not going to try to stick to the character voices that are already there. I don't sound anything like that douchebag you just heard. Those of you who don't know what resonance is, in physics, resonance is the tendency of a system to oscillate at a greater amplitude at some frequencies than at others. These are known as, as the system's resonant frequencies. At these frequencies, even small periodic driving forces can produce large amplitude oscillations because the system stores vibrational energy. The best way to describe it is a swing. And the natural inertia that a swing absorbs or prohibits or amplifies as you push and pull backwards and forwards and <clears throat> yada yada yada. For more on the word resonance, type it into Google. You lazy fuck. was the cheapest alarm clock on the shelf at the store. Normally pink is in my color, but who's gonna see it? I can't stand these things. I only use them when I need a complicated simulation or a brute force solution. Computer generated results just lack the finesse of an elegant mathematical proof, but sometimes they're necessary. That was the cheapest hamper I could find in the shopping safe. The sound is louder over here. Nothing but a dirty pair of pants and some socks. I swear the sound just got even louder. I think the sound's coming from my pants. It was my cell phone. I must have left it in there when I took them off last night. This guy's a fucking genius. I guess I didn't recognize the ring. I don't exactly get a lot of calls. Damn it. And the battery is dead. Great way to start a Sunday morning. I've got a spare battery in my drawer. It should still be charged. Alright, so up here we have our inventory can kind of manipulate things. You drag and drop the inventory around on the screen to use it with other items. That bathroom is so filthy I sometimes feel dirtier coming out of the shower than I did going in. Plus there's a super long turd I left in the toilet that won't flush down. 
could use these drawers to store some electronics, other items I need for my work. The drawer's locked. Now, where'd I leave that key? There's masking tape on the floor where I was working last night. It won't work. The battery's dead. Gotta find a spare battery in my drawer. equations I was working on all last night for Dr. Morales. It's really hard to do math while kneeling in front of a refrigerator for light. At least I managed to confirm our theory. to the drawer where I keep my electronics. My calculations are correct. Such a rush when all the numbers start falling into place. I don't think I slept until four that night. Interesting. There we go, unlocked. There's my spare battery. I should hold on to the page with the results. I spent hours verifying these equations for Dr. Morales. The results were right in line with his theories. Just perfect. Alright, let's put the phone in our battery in our phone, rather. I'll just swap out the battery. That did it. I'm a fucking genius! It's the cheapest prepaid phone plan I could get. I don't get a lot of calls, so I don't need any bells and whistles. Who should I call? 
There's only one number in my address book. 14A. Pretty sure the call couldn't have come from there, though. Last call here is from a local number. Wait! It's the number for the lab! It's probably Dr. Morales, but... the hell is he doing there so early? I better find out what's up. Hello? Dr. Morales, did, uh, you just call me? Eddings? Ed. Yeah, it's me. Oh, good. Listen, I need your help with something. Now? It's like 6.30 in the morning. On a Sunday. Is it? I didn't wake you up, did I? Uh, yeah, you kinda did. I'm sorry, I just... I guess I kind of lose track of the world when I'm working. I know, it's it's okay. So, uh, what do you need me to do? First, I need you to confirm something. Did you finish those equations I gave you on Friday? Yeah, just last night, actually. Good. Do you have the results? Got them right here. How close were our estimates? Spot on. There's definitely an inverse relationship between attraction and proximity. Dr. Morales, you still with me? I'm here. It's truly astonishing, and wait until you see my proof. You were right all along. This is a vindication of... I'm going to destroy them. Them? My research, the data, the results. I'm destroying it all. But resonance? It's your life's work. You can't just... I've been here all weekend thinking about it. This isn't a scientific or a mathematical dilemma. It's an ethical one. And trust me, I much prefer my problems to be hypothesized, tested, and quantified. You're wrong. It is math. Everything is. The potential for good far outweighs the possibility of misuse. You can't deprive the world of such... Danger? Someone's been following me, Eddings. I know it. Just please, don't destroy anything yet. I'll come in right now. I'm on my way. Wait for me. <clears throat> and that ends part one. At this point, you can kind of pick which path you want to go down for now. Although you'll be doing all the stories here to converge characters eventually. I don't want to be rude, but I've got to read these reports for work. I... right. Sorry. What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like... Seriously? God. Look, mister. In case you haven't noticed, I'm kind of busy right now, so if you could just... Oh, uh, sorry. What a bitch. Um, excuse me? Look, mister, 
In case you haven't noticed, I'm kind of busy right now, so if you could just... Oh, it's just that... Did you drop this? <laughs> oh my god. Thank you so much. I can't believe I dropped it. If you hadn't picked it up, I... It's more than just a regular coin, I take it? You could say that. Look, sorry for ignoring you earlier, by the way. And for snapping at you, for that matter. No, I deserved it. I was being pretty annoying, after all. Well, it's just... You run into a lot of creeps on the subway, and... Right, I understand. It's special, then? The coin? I guess it's kind of my lucky charm. It's kept me out of trouble for almost 20 years, so I guess that's something. Twenty years? You kept a coin for that long? Yeah, I guess I just got kind of attached to it. No, I mean, I would have lost it ages ago. I lost a car once. <laughs> How does one lose a car? Long story. I'm too absent-minded. That coin wouldn't last a week in my pocket. Especially if I kept taking it out and fiddling with it like you do. I do that? Oh, uh, what I meant was, you know, I, I see you on this train almost every day and... I just happened to notice. I promise I'm not like a stalker or anything. Huh. All right, all right. You're right, though. I do fiddle with it, don't I? Yeah. Well, I would have lost it today if you hadn't picked it up for me. I guess I really lucked out this time. I'm glad I could help. Where'd you get the coin? Well... Come on, spill it. It was, uh... Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine, I... Probably too personal to share with some weird guy you just met on the subway. I should just stop talking, shouldn't I? No, Probably. I appreciate the conversation. Dipshit. I just... The coin is just something I'd rather not talk about. That's your stop coming up, isn't it? <laughs> I thought you said you weren't a stalker? I'm not. I just... noticed. Yes, I'm off the next stop. Next stop, Aventine Central Hospital. Please stand clear of the doors. Right on cue. I guess I'll see you around. Thanks again. No problem. I'm Ed. Anna. Nice to meet you. Likewise. The doors will now close. Please stand clear of the doors. That went well. Just you and me now. What the? What's going on? Some kind of power search. Thank God for emergency brakes and lights. Um, sir? Wake up. There's been some problem with the train. Hello? I guess he'll be fine until help arrives. In fact, he probably won't even notice. Drunk fucking piece of dog shit. That's as far as I can force it. Not nearly wide enough to fit through. Maybe if I was anorexic. This might come in handy. There we go. Hey. Hey!
bit off sobered up by the time help arrives. He goes nothing. Okay, I've got to get this right. I'd better check my notes on my phone. Alright, so this is Ray's cell phone. We'll check his email. I don't care what you are, this is a bachelor guy. A story advocating the sacrifice of privacy in exchange for security. It's not exactly in line with our site's philosophy. You built a reputation here. Why squander it? I've done some poking around for info, Ibatra, and all I can find is something called Antivorta. We should check that out before doing anything. Jay. Alright. Who's Jay? Who knows? Who cares? Congratulations on your big story, Mr. Abbott. You're making headlines. You have the ear of the people. Now that I've helped you, it's your turn to help me. I look forward to reading the article we discussed very soon. Fuck you. Let's check our memos. Goals. Poses made for a repairman. Get rid of secretary. As you can see, we've done our first two. Hack into mainframe. Discover purpose of mainframe. Search antivorta files for A. Batra. Whoever A. Batra is. Facts. Secret medical program. Office on 7th floor of Antine City General Hospital. Large mainframe computer restricted access. Receptionist leaves at 7.30 shop. Somehow connected to A. Batra. What is A. Batra? Who is A. Batra? All right. I like this cell phone. It's got a little fishy speaking into a phone in the upper left. It's cool. Pretty much all you can do with the phone for now. So we'll go ahead and close it. And we'll do a little savey save here. We also have achievements. Now this is a new installation on a different computer. So all these are locked even though I've already played through this. You can show commentary for an achievement. Let's go ahead and make a quick save. The Game Hoarder! I love adventure games. Now, up here in the upper left, I didn't mention, but you have LTM and STM. That stands for long-term memory and short-term memory. You can drag items into your short-term memory and then use them in the immediate vicinity of the adventure window. We'll also, grab this clock here for our short-term memoirs. As far as clocks go, one in Antivore order office is only remarkable and how unremarkable it is. The terminal provides access to the mainframe located in the Antivorta office. Alright, let's go ahead and get ready to talk to the secretary here. I can't reach that. According to the clock, it's just a couple of minutes after 7.30 in the morning. This bitch should be leaving soon. I need to get her to let me stay in the room alone with the mainframe. Hey there. Welcome to the Antivorta Project. Please state your business.
I'm uh, here to fix the mainframe. I wasn't aware that the mainframe was in need of repairs, sir. Oh, well, I was told to run some diagnostics. What with the citywide power outage and all. In that case, I'm sure you know what to do. You look like you're in the middle of something important. I'm just writing a strongly worded email to my boss, who just asked me for his password for the 17th time. I'm informing him of where he can shove his stupid questions. Won't you get in trouble for sending emails like that? I never said I actually intended on sending it. It's a therapy exercise. Haven't you ever written an angry letter and then crumpled it up? I suppose I haven't. Trust me, it's much better than six months of anger management training. Trust me. I'll take your word for it. You're looking rather pokertudinous today. What? Pokertudinous, characterized by or having great physical beauty and appeal. Are you attempting to woo me with an astonishingly large vocabulary, sir? Is it working? No. If you're free later on, I'd love to take you out somewhere. I don't think I'll be able to fit that into my busy schedule. Well, I'm happy to wait for an opening. What part of not interested don't you understand? Can I have your phone number? Sure you can. It's 898-GET-BENT. Ouch. That blouse looks very becoming on you. Ugh, you should have stuck with plenitudinous. Pokritudinous. Do I look angry? Yes. Good. Thanks. Hi. Yes. So what can you tell me about that mainframe? The box? Aren't you the maintenance guy? Uh, yeah. So... Say, would you happen to know what time it is? Sure, let me check. Crap, 7.30 already? Look, sir, my shift's over and I gotta get going. I don't know where the next girl is, but she should be here any minute. I'm supposed to lock the door if I'm not here, but are you going to be okay in here alone? I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Good. Just keep an eye on the box for me and don't let anyone touch it, okay? No matter who they say they are. Yes, ma'am. Alright, we got her to leave the room. Let's check out the trash can here. There's an empty pop can. We'll take it. We like carrying empty cans. I might find a use for this. You never ever know. We'll check out this computer here. E. Walters. I'll just keep notes of any passwords I come across on my phone. USB port really doesn't do anything by itself, but maybe if I jam my password cracker up in its hole. Run pass crack dot executable checking username. E. Walters cracking password. Pass. Pa pa her, her password is password? Lame. Let's enter. Ooh. Welcome, Emma Walters. Hey, can you email my anti to login and password? I need to send it to someone who can remember. Send it right away, Dr. R. Valdez. Toothbag extraordinaire. Emma, sorry, gonna be a bit late. I left my apartment and my tires were slashed. What the fuck who would do that? Hope to see you before you take off at 7.30. Can you cover for me until I get in? I'll just be an hour or so. Now I gotta deal with this asshole tow truck driver who thinks I'm interested in hearing about his ex-wife, SARS. Yes, I know my mom named me after a fucking disease. I would name their kids SARS. <laughs> Dear idiot, first of all, my name is not Hey, it's Emma. Second of all, turn off your caps lock. It doesn't make you sound important, it makes you sound like an idiot. 
can't remember your Antivorta login again? I can't even count how many times I've explained this to you. Please study this as carefully as you study the front of my blouse. It's the first three letters in your first name and the first three letters in your last name. Not hard. And I can't send you your password, dipshit, because I don't know it. You'll have to use the system to reset it if you can't remember. And for God's sakes, do not give anyone your password. Tech support will never ask for your login information. Sincerely, hey. P.S. Right equals R-I-G-H-T, dipshit. P.P.S. Don't throw your aluminum cans in the non-recyclable trash can when there's a recycling bin in the hallway, you simpleton. You can see she has a very high opinion over her boss. Let's send it. We get a point for sending her uh, email. That's kind of funny. All right, and we're going to... Uh... So we know that the last three letters of the password are V-A-L. Uh, the first letter is R. We need to figure out the first name so we know the first part of the password. This name does change per game. In my last game, the last name was Ruiz. So, remember that. And nothing else really of importance here in the emails. You can, of course, search through the rest if you'd like. Just type in the password, if you can remember it. My love, I think you're right. It's time to meet. I know this place near Aventine General Hospital, the Fair Mountain. There's a fantastic restaurant on the top floor. Let's get dinner tomorrow night. 8 p.m.? Love, Steve. Dearest Amy, our conversation last night was incredible. My fingers were cramping up from clacking away at the keyboard all night chatting with you. I almost couldn't grip the steering wheel as my race my mo this morning. I won anyways. I'm fucking awesome. I just feel this deep connection with you. It's grown over the past couple of days. I can't explain it. We're just on the same wavelength. I haven't had anyone I could talk to like this in a long time. I hope you feel the same way. Yours, Steve. Dear Amy, wow, a detective, really? Can you imagine us teaming up? I'd speed us around town, chasing after villains. You'd examine clues to lead us to our next high-speed chase. We'd be superheroes. Yes, to dreaming anyways. I find the fact that you're a detective to be very attractive. This matchmaking service turned out pretty fucking great. I'm glad I gave it a shit. I mean, shot. Can't wait to hear from you again. Your friend, Steve. Super Thieve. Dear Mystery Woman, I have never tried any of these matchmaking services, so I'm not really sure how this works. I guess I start by introducing myself. My name's Steve. I'm a professional race car driver living in the Upper East Side, Aventine. I like action and having fun and dislike sitting in offices and wearing suits. My life moves as fast as my cock, I mean stock car, down the final stretch, and that's how I like it, baby. I'm looking for someone to take the movies and enjoy some fine dining on town and in the backseat of my car. Even though my life is fast-paced, I don't mind taking it slow with relationships. If, as the singles website has calculated, we are right for each other, we'll definitely have a good time. Sincerely, Steve. He needs to learn how to spell, because he's a dumb shit. Anyways, folks, that about wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned for more Resonance.